Hello and welcome. Um, another little message from myself, Andy Skips. It's uh, Sunday evening and uh, just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. And I was at church this morning and we had a wonderful carol service um, celebrating the birth of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ and had some great fellowship at the service and then afterwards as well. And I was reading Luke uh, chapters 1 and 2 because in those chapters we find out about the, the birth of Jesus and about the promises and about the whole situation um, around his birth. But I was reading on a bit and this kind of jumped out at me so I thought I would share it with you. It's from uh, Luke chapter 2 uh, verse 40. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. That means he stayed in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him amongst their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, uh, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at, the understanding, at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Meaning, why have you sort of treated us this way? Behold, thy father and I sought thee uh, sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? So, I don't know if this story sounds familiar, but there's a Christmas movie called Home Alone. And really, this is the first home alone. Imagine losing your child, 12 year old, going missing for three days. And of course they thought he was in the, uh, hang on, they thought that he was in the, in the company and uh, with them. But of course they found out that he wasn't. But three days he was missing. You remember that scene from that movie Home Alone? Kevin! And she suddenly realizes that, G that uh, the Kevin isn't with them. Well. The same with Mary and Joseph. They'd been to um, Jerusalem um, for, the, for the Passover festival and the feast. And then they, le they left him behind by accident. So, but of course the, the doctors, it says here, and the, the, the teachers of the law were amazed by his answers and his questions um, and by, by the things he, the, he said. And this was a 12 year old boy, remember that, but he wasn't just a 12 year old boy. He was the son of the living God. He was Jesus Christ, the savior of the world that, um, uh, that he might be the sacrifice uh, for many sins. So we have a picture of, of Jesus then saying, you know, you sought me, but why did you sought, seek me? Because I was actually in my father's house about my father's business. You know, so really Jesus' home, he knew that his home was in the temple. It was doing God's business. And so um, I suppose the, the analogy of home alone probably ends there because he didn't go and set traps for the robbers that uh, came into the, into the house to try and rob the house, as you know from the movie. But I thought it just jumped out at me as a little bit of an interesting uh, analogy. The, the first home alone was really... Um, Jesus being left by his parents um, because he wanted to go to the temple and be in the temple and learn about the word of God. He wanted to learn about the things of God. And um, just imagine the parents, how much, how they felt, you know, when, you know, Jesus wasn't with them um, at that time, but he was in his father's house doing his father's business. So anyway, um, it's a really great time to remember um, to remember what Jesus came for. And this baby in a manger, the little baby that we have a picture of in uh, Christmas nativities and on Christmas cards and stuff like that, that this 
was God incarnate. This was Emmanuel, God with us, um, God in human flesh. And it's amazing to try and get your head around that, but that concept has been with us for a very, very long time. And I would say that when people say, oh yeah, there's older stories that predate Christianity or the Bible, um, I would say that is because the events of Jesus' birth um, and his life and his death and his resurrection are eternal events. The Bible says that he was slain before the foundations of the world. So it's almost this event that transcends um, time and space and has always kind of been in our human consciousness. Um, and that 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came to the earth. God came to the earth as a man and was born in a manger. You know the story. Um, for the sins and for the redemption of humanity that if we accept what he has done for us if we believe upon him and believe in his name that we too might be saved and what does being saved means mean it means um, that you know God for yourself that you know the living God and you have a personal relationship with him you have a personal relationship with Christ and it is the most special thing and um, I did a video about can you lose your salvation a little while ago. I know that I'm saved, that I'm saved, that I'm saved. I know that I have a personal relationship with God and it is very special and that I cannot lose my salvation because I know him and I've seen so many things that he's done in my own life and in the lives of those around me. So it is something you can only know for yourself and it's something you have to decide to do for yourself. But that experience of God, that knowledge of God, that, that knowledge and understanding of what Christ did 2,000 years ago is very special and yeah I hope you get what I'm talking about and uh, that uh, it kind of at this time of year when we celebrate uh, Jesus' birthday it doesn't matter that he wasn't born in December he was probably born in October or September from what we understand from the scripture but we've chosen to celebrate it on the 25th of December Yes, Christians stole a pagan holiday and made it Christian. Um, I don't have a problem with that myself, but um, some people do. But we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, the coming into the earth uh, of, of the, our Lord and Saviour. He that was prophesied of old, um, that he would save humanity. So anyway, Merry Christmas to you all. I hope everybody's having a great time. And... Um, yeah, just seek God, pray to him. If you seek, you will find. And, um, you know, he is our comfort. He is the Prince of Peace. And he will give you eternal life and a joy that exceeds anything that you've ever thought or imagined. Anyway, going to say adios amigos. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.